What's up guys? Welcome back to another day at sea, season 3. And let's see how I got here first. What's up guys, welcome to episode number one of Life at Sea, season number three. Yes, you heard me right guys, eight days back I got a mail from my company that I'm about to join a ship from Singapore as a second officer and it's going to be a small ship so I'm very happy because you all have seen me in Monkeybo Maersk, Emma Maersk, very big ships and you have never seen the smaller ships of Maersk line and like I keep telling you, the size does not matter because the salary is the same. So you get my point. Anyway, so... Um, the thing is, I want you all to first write in the comment section what all you would like to see from this season number 3 and I'll prepare accordingly. So the route of this ship is going to be in West Africa and China. So the ports are going to be new and you're going to witness a new ocean, the South Atlantic Ocean. So I'm pretty excited for that. And I've sailed on these ships when I was a cadet and when I was a first time third officer. Here are some pictures from that time. I didn't make much of land vlogs this time because I had some personal things to cover back on land. In fact, I did podcast and a video with Big Brain. So I'll put a link over here. You can check those out. So I'm prepared now and uh, let's start the series. It's the night before I leave and my standard protocol is to visit the Gurdwara and you know take blessings from the Almighty which I have done. And this is the prasad I get. So this place gives me peace and uh, good luck and safety for my next voyage. Me and Ritama have come out for our final dinner and Ritama... I think it's the only dinner that we take at me for. Damn! So Ritama, how do you feel? Jaldi bata do. How do you feel? Guys, abhi mamla sad hai. That's why I have to take her to the big chill bakery. Where we'll have to have dessert to get the mood all right. Only then Ritama will speak. Ha Ritama? Ritama? No, nothing fixed. Achha, nothing fixed. We had to order this. Extra delicacy with chocolate sauce and choco ice cream, chocolate everything yeah. to cope up with the uh, long distance which is going to happen for the next uh, six months. So I'm going to be back here. Yeah. Ridhima has to cope up like this. <laughs> so guys, do let me know in the comment section if girls are watching. What do you do in case something like this happens? Estimated time of departure from the home: two hours. Bags are set. I'm feeling positive this time. I'm feeling hopeful and YouTube gives me like a sense of mission. So season three is my mission. Of course, being a second officer, responsibility, safety is like the utmost priority. But some in somewhere deep down in my heart, that silver play button gives me hope. And I'm hoping this time over here, the gold blood, the gold, the gold button comes up. So uh, I'll try and I'll work hard for it. At home, people are very emotional. My family is really emotional, so I'm trying to tackle that. But uh, yeah. Right now it's 1 a.m. and uh, now the sadness starts kicking in. But uh, yeah, work has to be done, like I said. So uh, I'm thinking of that and since I'm a new time second officer, so I'm reading the handover notes. That's how life of seafarers is. 
matter how hard I try to stay positive, I always break down during the flight. The mere thought that I will be away from my family for the next six months is truly heartbreaking. And I'm pretty sure this feeling is going to last for as long as I am a seafarer. reached the hotel in the afternoon now i'm going to go outside like you always know those who are following me i go and explore so today i want to buy something special for myself as a gift so let's see how that goes and right now i'm feeling uh, tired good confused sad happy i really don't know but one thing which has helped me is you know being aware of myself and you know being a bit spiritual not a bit like a lot these days but uh, as you see I always carry my Bhagavad Gita, it's over here. So let's go out and explore. First, we'll have my aisle. We'll need, it's only me. I'll have my lunch. I'm having some vegetable mashed potato. And once you are in Asia, so vegetarian chili, it's very tough. Did you know that the buildings in Singapore cannot be more than 280 meters in height? which is almost the length of my next ship. So I'll share something uh, which I feel right now. Whenever I used to see all these buildings, when I was in the Singapore Straits, which is right over there, I used to think, wow, how will it be when I'm here? Now I'm here, I feel, wow, how will it be when I'm over there? So it's like the grass is always greener on the other side. That is why I believe like being detached from the emotions is a very powerful weapon which you can develop. And this has been developed inside me through the process of spirituality, reading books and all of that. So this time I am feeling more positive, more powerful. Otherwise, at this moment, I am very sad, depressed because I know six months will be on ship, no family, nothing. So this has actually helped me. What a view, what a view. This is Marina Bay. Spectacular. So what I intend to do now is go to an Apple store and buy a MacBook Pro. Let's see the price difference between India and Singapore. I heard it was cheaper, so I thought I'll go and try. And it is just near this Marina Bay building somewhere over there. Yeah guys, behind me, this is the Apple store. I bought it guys. I bought my first MacBook Pro. I saved 30, 40,000 rupees and this is something I was looking forward for two years and this is what YouTube has given me. Thank you so much guys. Thank you. Let's get ready for the ship. Because of Mochi Navy, I was able to purchase this in one go without thinking twice. So work is worship and yeah, let's get serious. Let's do the unboxing. Since I have no one with me, you guys Accompany me. एक हाथ से ये खोलना थोड़ा मुश्किल है, but I will do it. सच्ची है मुश्किल है. Woohoo, guys! Have a look at this. So laptop, charging cable, adapter, and yeah. So I saved this money because this is like an investment for me in my own startup, which is this YouTube channel. So this is the pro part of it. Money is very important in life. I will not deny it. Without that, you cannot be free from your mental stresses of, uh, you know, a basic shelter, food, etc. So while, while saying about the pros, there are cons too, which is isolation and loneliness, which is hitting me right now. I had been positive the entire morning, but uh, just when I'm tired right now, I feel that low uh, energy and then, uh, okay, this mind plays a lot of tricks. What's up guys, good morning. Let's see how the day is going to be. It's going to be a long day because it is going to be departure from Singapore and then it's a straight travel to Africa. I'm getting a bit nervous, but uh, I'll be good. Everybody does it. Everybody has to go through this and everybody survives. 
So I'm going to give you all a few quick tips before joining the ship, which will be helpful for you as well. Number one tip is keep all your documents in one place and intact. Suppose like this file and folder has all my passport, visa, certificates and you know licenses. So I'm, I had made a video in which I showed what all documents are required to be a shippy and the link will be over here. You can check that out. Number two tip is carry what you need, not what you want. By that, I mean, be light on your load, carry minimum amount of clothes, but maximum amount of underwear. That is very important. And then rest of the things like soap, uh, detergents that will be provided on the ship mostly, but you can carry your moisturizer, face wash and, you know, uh, things which you, which suit your skin in a sufficient amount of quantity. So 40 kilos is the maximum load, which is allowed for seafarer to be carried from home airport to the ship. Number third tip is download everything you want to watch before joining the ship because on the ship you get speed which is like 2G or 3G so you will not be able to download anything. So TV shows, music, podcasts, um, mantras etc. Download them, perhaps even ebooks on Kindle. That will be very helpful for sure. Number four tip is going to sound a bit cheeky but it has something which has helped me. Stay positive. Don't let loneliness set in to your head. It will happen. It is human to feel lonely, but don't let it stick to your head and your heart. Stay positive. You have to earn money. You have to support your family. You have to have your bread and butter. So this is important. So this is what I have learned over the past eight sales I have done. So just a quick tip. Stay positive. Number five, do something creative. Now for me, YouTube channel is my source of creative outlet. On the ship, you get spare time and you get hardly any socializing on board. That is the fact. So you need something to stay engaged with. If you have a hobby like painting, drawing, uh, music, writing, then please bring your equipment with you. So I carry all my editing gears, the new laptop, which is right over there beforehand. So, you know, keep that in mind. You can bring a guitar also if you want. It is very important to be creative so that you don't get into that depressive state. It happened. It has happened with me. I will talk about it later in my channel. So uh, yeah, that is something very important. I believe number six point and the last point is managing your finances. So if you're investing, suppose in mutual funds in an SIP way, that is systematic investment plan, which means like 10,000 rupees every month will be cut from your account irrespective and put in a mutual fund. So for that, everything has to be set up before you join the ship because on the ship, there's no internet, sometimes very less internet. So you cannot communicate with your mutual fund manager or your, uh, what do you call banks? So set all of this up beforehand. And of course, tell your parents about this journey. So in case there is some discrepancy, they can go to the bank and fix that. So please manage all your finances before going onto the ship and also pay your bills like life insurance, health insurance, and I'm going to be making a separate video about this later on in the channel. So do let me know in the comment section what you would like to know more. Let's go and start the vlogging journey. Yaar. <laughs> Enough of Gyan. Uh, yeah, my packing is complete. Bags are set, document check, MacBook set. And I am ready to rock and roll guys. Handover notes also I have read. And this is the new mic I bought, Rodka. So I hope the audio quality is better. Okay, got the call from reception that my pickup is here. Time to head to the ship. Let's go. That's when I got the glimpse of my next blue lady. It's time we begin our life at sea. Season number three. Here we are signing on on the next ship of the gangway. 